So today, Robert, yep. Jeff found us an awesome place. We are on the hunt for some 1590s Sengoku Jidai battle Ooh, Sengoku relics. So, so, so relics, you're looking for broken swords, sword hilts, uh, bits of armor that might have dropped off, arrowheads. Uh, yeah, anything from that time period would be awesome. And of course, it would help solidify that this Lizard. was actually a battlefield too, you know. Yeah. You hear the rumors and stuff like that, but so today we're looking to put that rumor to rest. Japan is a country with a long history and an amazing culture. Japan Treasure Hunters is on the quest to find it and bring it to you. Yeah, there's a trail. Ooh, spider webs. Spider webs. Very dangerous. I don't think it has been traveled, period. Making our own trail. Watch out for the leeches today. Uh, I don't know. It looks like the type of ground it would be. I'm, I'm not seeing it, Jeff. Uh, go up a little bit, little bit further. Okay. Get up to this flat area. I think we may be able to hook up to the left and right. Yeah, okay. Oh, here's a trail. See? Told you. Oh, nice shot. Nice. Good call. Good call, Robert. Good call, I say to myself. So today we pushed the pace and didn't take any breaks on our way up to the main site. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're gonna know we're lying because we look too fresh for that. <laughs> well, you know, it helps that the trail was only like a two minute walk up to the... <laughs> it's actually relatively quiet, man. Oh, it's it extremely is. quiet up here so far. No, I'm talking trashy wise. I mean, it's, I've only got like couple tones and I could tell they were trash but I've had nothing so far I wonder if they ever used this as a dumping site I uh, hope not right here getting a gray tone here 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 let me turn off the headphones so that way you can hear it maybe there you go turn off the headphones hear that it's a perfect coin range 77 78 However, trash has been known to be in this range. So let's let's pinpoint and dig this guy out. All right. Oh, this would be awesome if this is an old coin from that era. Okay, it's right here. It's right there. Okay. Oh, the ground is soft today. Great. Okay. Oh, oh, there it is, right there. There it is. Sweet! It's a coin, right there. Nice! Coin! Robert, got a coin on the books. What kind? Well, it looks like a 10 yen, so definitely not a 1590s coin or relic. Well, 10 yen, it could still be from a battle. I've seen a lot of airsoft uh, pellets up true, here, so true. it could be from a uh, non-lethal airsoft battle. Oh, you're right, you're right. That's a big bug. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff come on. Right there. It isn't a centipede. Look at that. Oh, hairy thing? Yeah. I don't know what he... Oh, a millipede? It looks like a millipede. It doesn't look like a centipede. Yeah. Can't get a good... He ran away. Camera shy. Coin. It could be a coin, but bouncing around in and out of that range. So we're going to dig it anyway. Yes, we're going to dig this. So set about four inches down. But I like to clear a little bit first before, see if I can hear it before I dig it. Right in here. <laughs> it's a piece of wire. Definitely not from the 1590s, that's for sure. That's all right, we'll keep looking. Something gotta be here. I got a tone here. It's sitting a little bit in the pull tab range, but also it, it dropped down a little bit. So could be like high iron, 
but it, it feels like it's going to be tin foil. Looks like it's all over in here. A little bit here. Looks like it's going to be a can. It's kind of big though. So let's see if we can get him out. It's exactly what he is. Yeah, whatever it is. Ah, well, well, let's see. Something with speed. Let's see. Something with speed, probably oil can, maybe old oil can. You gotta love it. People just leaving stuff lying around. That's the only thing I found. Looks like a little clasp type yeah. thing. Hey, better than what I found. 10 yen? No, I found trash. Yeah. Here the uh, detectors don't pick this up at all. This is all pure visual scanning, but you may have heard us mention a couple of times, I don't know if it's gonna make it in the edit, that we've seen some airsoft people up here, and there's another airsoft pellet just sitting oh, yeah. right here. I've seen five or six of these as we've been scanning up here, so. They do come up here once in a while and play their little combat games. We're looking at uh, 70, 75 tone here. Ooh. Well, could be a coin, could be a bottle cap. It's been pretty quiet up here. Haven't even found uh, junk tones for the most part. So I got a tone that was a little bit lower than I usually dig. And it's going to be pretty close to the surface because pinpointer's picking it up already. Could be a can too. I thought I felt something. What? Didn't mean to do that, but it's still done. Get down there, dig a little bit deeper, widen the hole, and then boom, I find a thin piece of metal. It's a blade. Ah. Oh, what is that? That looks like a piece of a blade. It's definitely a blade. Just not the kind of blade we're looking for. It's a comma. Uh, used for clear and brush, logging, that type of stuff. So still a tool, still cool but not a sword. I did find something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a comma. Yeah. Not an apostrophe, but a comma. Comma. I know, I used that joke last Check time. Check and see if there's another piece in there. Yeah. Because it looks like it broke off right here. And it's a fresh break. I got, I got some more stuff down there. Or, no, no, it's not the top of a spear because it's too curved for that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's a comma. There you go. Beautiful. Still something down there. Probably more pieces of that. It could be, uh, yeah, beautiful. So, with this piece here and this piece here, if it's a broken comma, does that make it a semicolon? <laughs> I like that. I like that. That was good. Get it? Semicolon? <laughs> Shut their Got one. a nail. Really, really super tiny nail. I don't know if you can see him now. There he is. Right there. So I'm waiting for Robert. Nailed it. It's quiet enough that with the headset on or off, you're going to hear the same thing. Yeah. Nothing. Really yeah. This like, is this is without the headphones. Like no tones at all, at all. Is that where we came at, Robert? Up there, yeah. I think so. I think we crossed over up there. All right. Yeah, actually, this is where we started. Yep. We came up there from over that way. So what do you think? We call it a, I don't know if this was a battlefield. <sighs> yeah, let's call it an I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any good finds to define it. No. So we'll just call it. Could be. It could have been. No, that, that comma semicolon I found, that's too modern for yeah. that. Definitely that 10 yen is a little too modern, <laughs> too. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's try it again next week. Or we'll hit the trail on the way out, too. I think I see it. Off to the, to the right-hand side of your hole. Oh, oh, we got a fine for the day. <laughs> we got a fine for today. Hey, and that might actually be useful.
All right, a little magnifying glass. All right, we got a find. Yes. And that that could actually be useful. Sometimes we find some of these coins that yeah, yeah see the see the details on them a little better. Oh yeah, it works really well. Sweet. Huh? Musket ball. Musket ball. Yeah. I finally found something uh, possibly old. So digging up this little hole right here. Had to chase this guy around a little bit. But finally picked up a musket ball. Now, with that being said, musket balls came to Japan in about 1550s. So could this be from the time of the battle? It's a good possibility. However, they did use muskets after that to kill boar and deer and stuff like that. So we know that it's it's at least at least around that that time frame, if not younger. Sweet. Nice. Ah, nuts. Or bolts. Actually, yeah, not a bolt. Nut. Either way, it's kind of scary. I don't bunch. It looks like a washer, maybe. Well, I got excited. You found a. Enough over there. Oh, okay, so I found his washer then. Huh, alrighty. Robert, I found your washer. Ah, clean it up. Got the nut, got the washer. Got a close up.